Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very exciting video. I'm doing a decorate with me Christmas edition. So basically I'm gonna take you guys along with Sean and I as we decorate our apartment for Christmas. I'm also gonna give you guys some of my top tips for just organization, saving money, just keeping you sane during the holidays. At least I find that these tips help me. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get started. Okay, so tip number one is try to get everything out that you are not going to use for your Christmas decor. It just helps so much when you bring in your new Christmas decor, you have blank spaces to start decorating. It's kind of hard to envision what you're going to decorate or how you're going to decorate if there's a bunch of decorations already there. So try and just go ahead and take out everything that you're not gonna be using for Christmas decor and just kind of get a blank space. Okay, so the first thing we are going to start decorating is our little home office. And we bought these big um, ornament looking things that you're probably supposed to hang like in your yard, <laughs> but we love them and uh, they're like three feet tall. We got them from uh, Hobby Lobby last year and they were just such a good deal. We just love them. They're kind of extra, but we just think they look awesome. So we have um, exposed like piping in our apartment. So that's what those are hanging on right now. And they, they look so awesome. I love the way they turned out. And now here's um, like two minutes of me fiddling with this string of lights and not being successful at getting it untangled. Finally, when we got it untangled, <laughs> we decided to just um, hang it or just kind of like sh uh, hang it across our desk. And it just looks really pretty back there just for some extra light and glow. Um, but we definitely weren't done there. We wanted to add some extra decoration. So we decided to hang these little wreaths um, on each side of our big picture here. Um, we got these wreaths. I think we got them at Home Depot for a really good deal. I, I swear they were like $3 a piece and they're, they're pretty small, but they're a nice size for inside. So we just thumbtacked them up on the wall, honestly, and it was so easy and um, they look great. Okay, so we still weren't done there. We wanted to add something else. So we added these little um, street lanterns that we got from at home. Again, these were really inexpensive. I think they were like $6 and they hold little fake candles in them. They're so cute. And we also didn't really like the way the lights turned out. We thought they were too bright. So we put some fake snow back there just to kind of diffuse the lighting. And it just looks really, really awesome. And just kind of like a cloud. <laughs> Okay, next thing we're decorating is this shelf. And I feel like this was the hardest thing to decorate. Um, I don't know why we just struggled with it. It was just kind of like we didn't know where to put anything. Um, but this is where I'm gonna tell you guys tip number two. So tip number two for me is to stick to a color theme. Definitely um, choose two to three colors and don't stray from those colors while you're shopping for your Christmas decor. It'll just help you so much. It'll help when you get home, you'll be able to like mix and match things. You'll be able to move them around because they'll all match and they'll all be like in the same color scheme. And it's just so much easier. This might sound like something like duh, but <laughs> it's really easy to get to a store and see something that's cute and buy it and then get home and realize that it doesn't match any of your decor and you don't use it. So try not to break from your color scheme. We got these little um, mason jar candles last year at Michael's. I love them. They were really cheap as well. And they have different heights. Some of them are a little bit bigger and some are a little smaller. Um, they had a couple different colors, but we stuck with red and green because um, for our color scheme, we pretty much do traditional colors, red and green with pops of silver. And I just think they look so cute. They just hold little fake candles and they glow just really, really beautifully at night. 
Oh, and it also started snowing this day. It was just like the perfect setting for decorating for Christmas. I just had to include some clips of the snow. It was so magical. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we're going to decorate is um, our little French doors here for our balcony. And this is like, honestly, my favorite decor of the house. I love the way the wreaths look hanging um, on the windows. So we just got these uh, wreaths from Home Depot and they already had the red bows on them. And again, they were really inexpensive. Um, I wanna say they were like $5 a piece. And we just attached um, a plaid ribbon, a green plaid ribbon that I got from Target. And they're just hanging from command hooks. And they look so cute hanging in front of the windows. I love them. Okay, next we're just like hanging um, a string of lights behind our curtains and then across our curtain rod. I love the way that the lights look behind the curtains. It just kind of dims them a little bit and it just kind of gives more of a glow. I just think it looks a lot more like soft and romantic. Then we decided to attach this garland to our curtain rod with some zip ties. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Um, it took us so long to like get it balanced and like tied properly, but I love the way it turned out. It looks so good. Then we decided to add these little um, kind of like picture frames-ish things that we got from Walmart a year or two ago. They're just um, little silver frames with um, silver sparkly snowflakes in the center. And they were like $2 a piece and they're so cute but beware, they're like very flimsy. We've already broken two of them and had to like glue them back together, but they still are hanging in there and they look so cute. <laughs> okay, now moving on to the living room. First, I'm gonna put down our um, Christmas blanket. I love this thing, it's so soft. And we um, also have this adorable Christmas pillow. I love it. It's just like a red plaid with, um, it says joy on it in silver sequins, or they're not sequins, they're actual beads. And it just looks so cute. I think I got it from Home Goods last year. Um, and now also in our centerpiece, I usually keep this birdcage out all year long and I just like replace different things in there, but I love these little trees and the fake snow it looks so cute. Okay, moving on to my third tip, and this is to reuse things that you already use in your normal decor. So I always have this vase with these flowers in it by my front door. And I just decided to add some sparkly red twigs and these little berries that you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And it just adds, it turns something that doesn't look Christmassy into something that does look Christmassy. And then you don't have to buy a whole nother Christmas vase. You can just turn the one you already have looking Christmas. So that is tip number three to saving tons of money. So this year we decided to get a revolving tree stand. So you will get to see this beauty spinning in just a minute. Um, we got this tree from Walmart. I think this is our third year with it. And it was such a good deal. It was like $150 and it's pre-lit and it's covered in like gold sparkles and has fake pine cones on it. And it just is really, really pretty at night. I, we love this tree so much, um, but we've already had some of the strings of lights go out. So I kind of think we're gonna have to get a new tree next year, but for now, it's still beautiful. Oh 
Okay, so then I just wanted to show you guys what we did for our stockings. Um, since we don't have a fireplace, we don't have a mantle to hang them. So I just bought these cute little command hooks that they just look like little fake diamonds and they're clear. So they really don't stand out a ton. I just thought they were really cute. So I just hung those up on the wall by the, um, by the Christmas tree. I also added some uh, other decor by the plant that I showed you guys earlier. Um, I just have this cute little days until Christmas sign and just some like extra little goodies. And I ended up adding some extra berries to that as well. Okay, this is on to my final tip. My final tip is when you are actually packing up your Christmas decor and ready to put it into storage, take the extra couple seconds and write on a piece of paper and just tape it on the front what's in the box. I promise you it will help you so much next year when you're going through your stuff, you'll be able to find things easier. It'll just help you so much knowing, okay, what do I even have for Christmas decor? You can just go through the labels that are on front of the boxes. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved filming it. Christmas is just my favorite time of year. Um, so if you guys did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I post videos at least once a week, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.